All right, guys, speaking of remakes, uh, Disney is doing yet another remake of the Cheaper by the Dozen uh, franchise. I guess we can call it a franchise now. Um, the original Cheaper by the Dozen uh, done in, I think it was the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, somebody fact check me on that. Uh, and then there was the, the remake with Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt and, you know, uh, Superman, uh, the guy who played Superman, Tom Welling. A whole bunch of other people in uh, in those remakes, uh, but there was uh, what one and two with Steve Martin, mm -hmm. and now they're doing uh, another reimagined uh, version of Cheaper by the Dozen. I think this is a really clever take. So here's the thing: here here's my criteria whenever remaking or rebooting a, a, a series or a franchise or, or movie or whatever. What are you adding to it? How are you elevating the material here? And the way that they're elevating the material in a timely manner, not just in a timely manner, but I mean like in a way that makes sense to do it now as opposed to yesterday, as opposed to tomorrow, which is the current climate that we live in is very socially conscious, right? Um, uh, we're very conscious of uh, different people and demographics and cultures and races and all that stuff. And by doing a Cheaper by the Dozen remake, but with a culturally inclusive family, um, this is this is uh, being brought on by the creators of uh, Blackish. And oh, hold on, let me jump into the article. Um, it's done by the creators of Blackish. And, uh, oh, there was, oh, there was another credit. Uh, I can't find it. Anyway, um, I think this is really interesting that we're going to have a multiracial family uh, come together with all, like, with everything that that means. Everything that that means. Um, I think that is really interesting, especially given the, the state of the world, the climate today, uh, the stuff that, you know, uh, social justice is kind of pushing towards and not just that, but storytelling is now becoming more inclusive. And this is indicative of all the stuff that we talked about yesterday. Um, you know, Disney's animated film Encanto uh, uh, about a Colombian family called the Magigals. Um, uh, there is a, a new seri series, I think it's a series or a film, I can't quite remember, uh, Iwat I Iwaju, uh, about an African, com like an actual African comic book um, that has a very like Wakandan, Black Panther kind of feel to it. Um, that's coming to Disney+. Plus. Uh, you know, th those are just a couple of examples, but I think this adds into that idea of here's a property that we have, something that we own, Something that we can hopefully elevate the material, keep the spirit of it, but elevate the material, make it timely, and make it relevant, and say something new. Like, give it a better commentary. I think mm. this is a great idea. I mean, of course, it could, flat on, it could fall flat on yeah. its face. Nobody ever sets out to make a bad movie. But I don't know, Josh, I think this is a really cool and clever idea um, in, in spin on this idea. Where do you stand? Do 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 you want to challenge me on that? I um we said uh the premise itself is you said sort of a multi uh I uh, I'd like to like read a little bit more about like what 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 what's going on with it and stuff which is great but I I think it's fantastic I think that's great and that's the direction we're going in and that's a good direction we're going in um I think. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope we get a lot more projects that are, that are diversity, uh, that are, you know, much more diverse. I just read an article in the New York times, uh, it was about Stephen King and his, it's a good article, Stephen King and his favorite TV adaptations. Um, and he talks about the stand, uh, that they made back in the nineties. Um, and you know, him and Mick Garris, good friends and that he wrote the screenplay or the teleplay and Mick Garris directed it. But he said the new stand, you know, this is the new one coming out. And he said one great thing about the new stand, he goes, and I think this is a quote in the article. He mentions the idea that, like, the book is very white. The TV show is very white. But what they're doing with this stand is is making it much more diverse. And he's like, and I'm all for that. And he's like, that's great. So so I think this sort of this lean and this direction that we're going in sort, sort of diversity and um you know, I think it's great. And I think this is just another project that sort of like is is taking that step and, and being like, yeah, this is important. We need to do this. So I think it's great. I don't know.
and I'm excited I to see agree. It. I agree. Uh, question is for you guys. What do you think of the Cheaper by the Dozen remake? Uh, are you looking forward to it? Do you? Uh, what things would you like to see done in it? And what more do you want to learn about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Scrooge McDuck would want you to do. DuckTales, woo! -hoo!